well, who are you and what do you do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so my name is Jose C. Fuentes, mm -hmm. and I'm an abstract figurative artist, which is, I take the real stuff and make it my own and make it look different, colorful, mm -hmm. textures, you know? I like to bring depth into the, into the, the artwork. I like to bring contrast. Yeah. Definitely. And I see that, like, there's a lot of, there's contrast trust in your work. Uh, it's very intense. That was my, my first yeah. reaction to it. Right? I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not intense in a bad way. Like, it's intense in, like, it, it's, it's, it's so, like, you have to look at it. Like, it, yeah. it, it, it pulls you in, like, right away. And you got to, like, kind of pause and stop everything that you're doing. And so, I, uh, like, for me, a, a lot of the work that I look at, it's, I look at it in passing. And uh, so yours just, like, kind of, it made me, like, whoa, what is this? And uh, Thank you. Oh, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that, like, the, the, is that something that you aim for? Or uh, what well, is the, it? That, uh, the point is, to me, I like that, that in-your-face experience. I want you to be in your, like, I, I want you to not ignore what it's in front of you yeah. and whatever you feel from it, that's more color psychology, which I'm not like, I understand it. I use it, but that's not the main thing. Like yeah. I understand what colors make you feel and stuff, but I guess the point is for you to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you know, introspection is big with me in my yeah. work. Like I want you to look at yourself and, you know, and ask hard questions, you know, and, and if it's through art, it's pretty cool because it's not, it's not, it's not judging you. It's more like asking you, which is very different, you know, because you can ask yourself many things, but then if you judge your, if you judge yourself, it, it kind of loses the point. It, it becomes something else. It becomes kind of like an attack on yourself. Yeah, yeah. And I want this art to be just a conversation with yourself. Nice. And like, uh, and when you're um, designing, I guess designing that conversation. Like, do you design the conversation? Like, is there like a particular conversation that you're looking for a person to have, or uh, does that matter to you? Or uh, how well, it depends things? on what I'm doing. Like, I work in in series, kind of. So yeah, yeah. I try to do the series has to do with certain emotions, certain colors, certain strokes, certain something yeah. i i acquire the images and i pull sections of them if either a phase or either something else yeah, yeah. and yeah I'll, I, st I start painting it and and it just flows you know I, I i don't like to get it down in the design as much as just the image and then let the freedom of the art or whatever i'm feeling or whatever's happening just take over and it's been working well for me. The, the more that I let me just do the process later, mm -hmm. it works very well. And it feels good because, like, I, I'm into this whole freedom thing. And yeah, that, yeah. That's, to me, that's the point, you know? Nice. Beautiful. What is freedom? Well, yeah. That, that, to me, that's, it's just you being you and doing what you want to do without worrying about, you know, judging from anyone else, judging in either good or bad, you know, which to me is all relative like good or bad means nothing is more what is happening in just living just yeah, living yeah. living a life of of comfort in, in with your own self that's what i beautiful. what i think yeah beautiful i i i i, fi I find that too like um self-awareness like absolutely freedom helps like I, I guess they go hand in hand but being self-aware like being self-aware as opposed to uh being a slave to your um emotion exactly. right? like the emotion is there and you know recognizing the emotion and then just being able to live with it is to me freedom and that to me is confidence right like self-awareness is confident like i'm angry for example i'm aware of it or i'm sad and i'm aware of it but yep. that's what uh, you know, being aware of it is what is the freedom of it, of that. Like, yeah. you're not a slave to uh, uh, whatever. To your reactions. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. What, is, what your reactions are is, is is what you describe as good or bad it depends on what you react to it it could be a challenge or it could be a fucking tragedy yeah you know? yeah definitely yeah that's what it that's pretty much what this been this whole thing has been teaching me like i i thought about it before and i believe it but this is really in your face like what's happening right now is making everyone think mm -hmm. for good or bad okay this is happening what are we doing reevaluating a bunch of things and yeah. I like that. It's pretty yeah. cool, man. Definitely, definitely. It's changed a lot uh, of things. Like one thing I also started, like I when I you know, usually when I'm at the grocery store, I buy different, I buy certain foods. But this time it's like everything changed in terms of the food that I ended up buying, and also, you know, like so something as simple as bread. Like bread is three dollars per per bread, like for decent bread. So like, mm -hmm. okay, now I gotta think you know, okay, I got to make my own bread, right? Like, so something I started doing is just like studying how to make bread and how to make my own bread. Yeah, I can only we're actually imagine. making bread today. Ah, huh? you did? Well, yeah, we actually are making it later. Yeah. Nice, nice. For the same reason you just said. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, makes yeah. sense. What are you going to do, man? You know, you got you to gotta self-sustain and... And some days, gonna, who knows, if it, if it becomes basic, then you already have an advantage, you know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely. I, I've had, uh, I've lived with people who are like that. Like I've lived with uh, a chef who would like just go. Oh, nice. Stuff. Poor you. <laughs> uh, I know. Right? Uh, no, but I don't, not now, but before uh, I've lived. And he used to tell me <laughs> about that. He used to tell me like, Mike, you need to learn how to make your own, own stuff. Like you can't just go to the store. You can't just buy fast food. And yeah. that's what this, this, whole like we're all conditioned to be that way and some people like i can only imagine for some people like now you actually you know if you don't know how to make food you're so messed up like you're so screwed you're yeah or, your or you're gonna run out of money ordering yeah, yeah. deliveries every day you can't you can't sustain yourself with that kind of stuff you know definitely and your health either uh so it's 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 a different work uh, as an artist, what are you best known for? Okay, it's in if it's subject matter, it's always been faces. It's always yeah, yeah. been eyes, it's always been expressions, colors. And as a person in you know, as it's always been freedom, transparency, passion. Right. I, I used to be called an angry young man in my twenties. Yeah. I was always very, you know, I was not, not in in a, in a bad way, but it was more like I was very driven, and yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't care for no's, man. If if you give me a no, that's just another way of not doing it, you know. And, yeah. Yeah, and I did all right. I did all right like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. That's uh, I like that. I like passion. I like uh, the fight. Like I do sales, so it's like I I completely understand where you're coming from. Like you can't oh, necessarily yeah. take the no for an answer. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to be put off by that, you know, and, uh, you know, like, and yeah, like passion, you you need passion, you know, to survive, but you also need passion to, to, to create what you're creating, Absolutely. Like, you know, like there Absolutely. is a explosion that has happened on that canvas and, you know, you can definitely tell all of your emotions are put into that like you you leave you are like you put your everything into it it's true yeah are you more of a hunter or a gatherer hmm. well i'm i'm a realist so if i have to hunt i will hunt yeah but if i have to gather i see that you know that we are well i, I kind of understand that without recollecting the seeds none of this today would have been possible so it's yeah. equally important so i'm i'm both to be honest i'm more like uh i go with the flow as a i've been a migrant three times man in different places and yeah, yeah. Ad adapting is 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 what i've learned to do so i'm i'm right in the middle man whatever i gotta do i got i'll do it yeah yeah like adapt being a migrant uh, three times like where have you lived before I lived in the U.S. for 10 years. Nice. In Jersey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then you went from Jersey to Toronto. Like went from Jersey to Colombia. Colombia. For seven years. 
Yeah. I started a clothing brand. Oh, then no way. We got, yeah, I got married. Yeah. And then we we suffered extortion and kind of had to shut down and shit. So we yeah. we said, you know, let's move to a safe place. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We came to we came to Toronto. Wow, welcome, well, welcome to Toronto. Oh uh, yeah, man, thank you. This place has been top. You know, like I, I raised my own bar, man, due to this city. This city has has given me a lot of beautiful tools, man, to just keep it going. Nice. Uh, yeah. What is what is one tool that you find has like really like uh, defined the city for you? Well, the support I've gotten from the Toronto Arts Council is beyond. Mm -hmm. Like in, in every sense, I found my mentor through them. Nice. I got a I got a grant last year, five thousand dollars, and the, I just got the relief fund for yeah. the COVID nineteen. I got that too. Nice. So they 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 believe in me, man. So yeah. And I and I keep pushing it. I I'm I'm in contact with them for yeah, yeah. grants and all this stuff. So yeah, it's been it's been amazing. Beautiful. That's 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 nice to hear. Uh, and yeah. yeah, Toronto Arts Council, like they are Absolutely. definitely a staple within the arts community. What are you working on right now? Okay, I'm working on two things. I'm yeah. working on a, a a project called the Mira project with okay. Mira is kind of like C translation in Spanish to C which yeah, yeah, yeah. and the one behind me is 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 probably my biggest piece so far and is is one of them I'm in the process of finishing it up okay and the one the other one here it's part of the Volver series which Volver means going back mm -hmm. That one is gonna be showcased in Colombia in Medellin. Yeah, yeah. And it will be my first exhibition showcasing it my work in my own hometown. I've never exhibited there. Oh wow, yeah, that's so, yeah. So it's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are you are you anxious? Like, are you anticipating that or how? Well, you yeah, yeah. I'm more. <laughs> the funny thing is that I'm not worrying about the work itself. I'm worrying about how is it gonna be shown. Yeah. because i'm gonna take it just the fabric and then we're gonna stretch it there and so it still has a little bit of logistical and and production before it's showcased so that's what kind of gives me the okay i gotta be on point yeah yeah but besides that now nah, man even though this one is is pretty meaningful because that's my that's my best friend who's a doctor in medellin oh. and she's she's going through the crisis over there she's in the front lines man and yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's really close and personal. So I'm putting everything on this. Beautiful. And if you see on, on the website here, where on the top where it says paintings, there, yeah. I also show my my works in progress. Kind of like what I don't even show on Instagram and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I call it at the studio. If you see the paintings on the left. Yeah, paintings. Yeah. So just click on it. Oh uh, no! At the uh, underneath, it says at the studio. Yeah, there yeah. You go. Nice. And uh, 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 your your best friend, she is uh, working in the front lines. Uh, is there anything that you would like to say to her uh, for being such a courageous uh, person and helping us out? Well, to her and to all of them. We, we, you know, I'm one of those people that understands because I, I worked as a janitor before, so I understand what it is to be overlooked. So I know that health, healthcare workers, man, they, they, they're, they're super people. They, they, they're, you know, they, they're the ones who are, who are saving us. That's yeah. it, plain and simple. There's no, there's no ifs or buts. It's just that's the bottom line, and from there we take all the compliments to everyone else. But they're the ones who deserve all their respect. And that piece back there is called co uh, commitment. commitment. I'm calling it commitment because to me that that's it. You know, they're they're putting their lives, man. You know that that's yeah. It's not just an effort. It's it's their lives. That that's that means a lot. You know. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is a lot. Uh, you know, and uh, you know they do deserve to be commended for it. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it, it's you know yeah, like it's because even when when. When there are no crises happening, you know they're still there, Man. and they are still. And whatever time you get there, they're always going to be there at the hospital. Yeah, yeah. That's that's amazing. 
Yeah, 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 definitely. So uh, kudos to anybody that is uh, that is a healthcare worker or anybody that's just basically out there having to work as an essential. Yep. Uh, you know, like uh, you are at this point keeping the world, uh, you're keeping it, everything go around, uh, you know, so like I, 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 anybody listening, don't take it for granted. Uh, definitely uh, don't take it for granted. Like, uh, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, you know, uh, thank you very much. Uh, describe your creative process. Okay, so I, I collect portraits, faces, eyes, anything that I find anywhere, you know, yeah. or I photograph myself when the light is hitting me a certain, certain way and mm -hmm. I collect, I collect and collect. And then when I, when I come up uh, a theme that just comes, comes up in an idea or whatever, yeah, I yeah. recollect, I recollect those faces, those moods, those colors and, and set up like a, like a mood board. Right. Mm -hmm. After that, then I start playing around. It's kind of like a, like a, like a cool puzzle, you know, and, and at the end, the ideas come up. I, I get the color palette yeah, yeah. set up kind of like the main color, then the accents will be just out of my mind and stuff, but the main mm -hmm. colors, yeah, will be set up at the mood board and, and yeah, that's where I begin. I begin with the heart with sometimes the hardest one yeah. or the easiest one. Yeah, like I never, I don't like to be in the middle. I like either the the easier or the or the hardest. That depends on 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 my mood. Okay, and okay. yeah, as you can see in that image right here on the screen is yeah, I set up the grid. Yeah. And just start going at it. I don't like to to sketch with a pencil or charcoal. I do it straight with a with a brush. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, and I start going at it. I like to layer. I layer it out and and do it. Right yeah, now yeah. with this Volver series because it's going to Medellin. Soon. I'm doing it in acrylic, but okay. I usually paint in oils. So I, I do both. I like I like both. They're different. They're pretty cool. Beautiful. Yeah, that's well put. Like, uh, and I can see that like the work post is it's beautiful that the 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 the, the picture landed on this. Um, like the the image in the back landed on this because like it shows the work process of uh, yeah. creating uh, your Absolutely. artwork. And uh, yeah, it, it shows that you are capturing it very beautiful. Like you're actually bringing mm -hmm. life to it. And uh, I can't wait to see what the finished product for that is. I mean, when you're creating your art, are you listening to music or um, is it just uh, like, what do you do when you're creating your art when it comes to that stuff? Yeah, it usually is music. Yeah, I like, I like to play just, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an 80s guy. So nice. you know, I, play, I play the 90s rock and... I yeah, like the yeah. blues. I like some jazz. I'm a big fan of Cannibal Otterly. Okay. And I just jam it out. Yeah. Usually is you know either it's either rock or jazz. Okay. Okay. But I'm, I'm all in between. It depends. I like Wu Tang. I'm a big Wu Tang ah, fan. So ah, <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 we're gonna go gangster, we do it right. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you gotta go Wu Tang when it goes Hell, gangster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I'm yeah. big on that too. So yeah, it's depending Definitely. on the mood. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. Like Wu Tang was, uh, I think, uh, the first time I, I I memorized something. It was the the Wu Tang song. Uh, the the triumph. Uh, the the right. triumph, dude. That that song is amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> so you know, like Wu Tang uh, was was up there for me at some point. Uh, you know, yeah, like man. that's a uh, rap and stuff. Uh, I listened to a lot of uh, uh, Santana. Nice. Um, yeah, like uh, I, I really like. I, my, wow, this music is is so beautiful. Um, like so, and I usually don't listen to music when I'm uh, doing my art, but there are times when I just have to sit down and just put on some Santana. Yeah, and, exactly. And those strings will make you fly, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Those strings they take you somewhere. Like it, it's funny every time you listen to his music, it's it's like you're listening to new music again, all over. Yeah. No, there's so. a guy that's mm -hmm. amazing his name is jeff jeff beck jeff beck and he's all about strings and oh it's, it's usually no voice but he's yeah. wow it's beyond beyond man his his stuff is amazing i saw him here last year okay okay at the bud center yeah jeff beck yeah i see him here yeah man yeah they inv he, they invited him to be at the with the rolling stones and he said no oh no hey <laughs> yeah hey, the other guy are... died 
you mu you are the guy if you know if you can reject the Rolling Stones. He's amazing. Listen to anything that he has. He's he's brilliant. He's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. He's I will brilliant. definitely listen to him. Uh, listen yeah. to them all when I once this is all done uh, for today. When you're creating your art, uh, who is it for, and why is your art important? Okay, the moment it, it the moment is brought to life is not my own. So uh -huh. it's I don't, I don't call them my babies or none of that stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm yeah. extremely detached from it, and like if it all burns in a fire, sad, but it is life. You know what I mean? Like I'm uh -huh. not attached to it. Yeah, this is yeah. me who creates it, so I can do it again if I feel like it. So but i i usually have commissions you know people ask me for commissions so they yeah, either yeah. send me an image or we pull, we get a photographing session and we do it and besides that it's just it's just for the world to be honest like it's just i, I want to create it either either if i'm allowed or not you know like it's gonna happen and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's the moment is put out there is not my own it's the world's you know, and that's kind of like why we exhibit so we can tell the world, hey, this is all for you. This is yeah, not, yeah. I don't I don't see it from ego. You know, I don't see it as, hey, look at what I did. It's more like, hey, look what I'm I'm putting out there for all you to see. Like that's 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 kind of like my contribution. Yeah. Yeah. If in the most altruistic way possible, you know, like it's not about me. It's about the rest of the world and what they feel about it. Yeah, definitely. Being able to inspire and influence the world. Hell and, yeah. uh, being able to, you said it earlier, the conversation uh, within thy, thine self. And, uh, you know, it calls, uh, it calls us. Right? Like, this, like, wow, I, I have a blog called Upside Down Pyramid. Uh, or a concept, actually. It's a concept. Nice, but this look is at it. this. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Like, you know what it is? The concept, like, because usually when we draw power, Right, like uh, we draw, we would, you know, like if you look at a lot of people when they put, like when you tell them to put power into perspective, they draw a pyramid. The person at oh, the top yeah. of the pyramid is the boss. But for a boss or a king or someone, a leader to be a leader, they have to understand that they are the service to the system. Yeah, man. And therefore, the pyramid is upside down. It and, should uh, be, and yeah, it will yeah. be someday. <laughs> definitely definitely it will be it is uh in many like uh places uh, i mean there are people who are obviously taking advantage of uh, that take advantage of the system uh and uh you know like there is uh you know but at the same time you know uh in the community there is still the community at large uh you know and there are still people um like ourselves who are able to be out there and uh, influence uh, people on a positive, uh, positive note. So, uh, you know, this, yeah, this is what uh, came to mind as soon as I saw this picture. It's nice. a beautiful picture. Uh, and, uh, okay, so what is the hardest part of being an artist? I guess it, the, the easiest one that comes to mind is money. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's hard for 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 us to make a, a, a good living of this. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, it's, it's not all about the likes, you know? Like, I, I like the likes and I appreciate them. Yeah. But, you know, we, we need to we need to make money with this. We need to be recognized by, by governments. We need to be, you know, we need to be a little bit more of what it used to be back in the days. You know, artists were people who were appreciated for what they do and they were being used for what they yeah. do you know like uh, murals uh, beautifying cities mm -hmm. you know like all these things that, that's what i feel like is the hardest to be kind of like appreciated but besides that i think it's cool man because i it's, it's just being is is it makes you strong yeah and and there's a certain cool thing about that because when hard things come your way you're kind of like, fuck it. You know, like we, we got this. We, we yeah, always yeah. got this. There's always a creative way of getting around the problem. There's always a, it's always a solution that is two, three sketches away, yeah. you know? So, yeah. Definitely. That, that is definitely uh, a uh, plight that we all should fight for as artists. Because we are, in theory, creating an economy 
uh, that can be taxed Absolutely. by the government. And so that's more money for the government out there. Uh, yeah. you know, so, uh, and we're, we want money to, to, to create art. Like it's yeah. not like we want money to, to do nothing and sit down and just do nothing on the contrary. Yeah. It's like, yo, we're creating things out of thin air. You know, yeah. we want to do it for you, for the city, for the government, for whatever, just to be yeah. out there. Definitely. And it uplifts everybody. So it's, it's definitely a topic that has come up in many of the podcasts, uh, a lot of the podcasts. Uh, the one that we published today with uh, Char, uh, she talks about that as well. And uh, at some point, we talk, we, we talk about basic income. And uh, yeah. You know, uh, uh, yeah, the government, I think, I feel the government, I hope that this passage that we're going through right now makes the government recognize how important basic income can be. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Absolutely. I agree. 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100% because right now I'm pretty sure a lot of people are very creative now that they don't have to worry about let's say rent you know if, if yeah. they're getting some type of help Definitely. they're not worrying like their life depended on it and yeah. that, that, that unblocks things in your head and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are finding you said it yourself baking there, there's so many things that people are doing now because they can't because they're yeah. creative because they have the time yeah, there's yeah. no excuse there's a magic to that. Yeah, teach us something that we don't, we, we, you feel we don't know. Okay, so what has been working for me this past month is that in order to get answers, you need to meditate, uh -huh. right? So I have understand that if you get up, even if you go back to sleep later, but if you get up like around five, six in the morning, when yeah. it's quiet, you sit down and, you know, focus, close your eyes, sit down straight and focus on your breathing. Yeah, yeah. Answers will come, and it's not. Don't ask the. Don't ask the questions. Just, just breathe and focus on, on how it feels when it goes in and how it feels when it goes out, and you know, fly for a little bit. Nice. And the answers will come. I have come to a lot of conclusions that way, and yeah. yes, yeah. that I can say that is is. I don't think it's a teaching, but. I'm being a witness that it works and I have suffered from anxiety and it's been keeping me really, really nice at bay. I'm, I'm happy. I'm chilling. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not moody. I'm not looking at this as a tragedy and, and it has been very, it, it goes very well. And I can see it in my art because when yeah, I yeah. make a mistake, I don't, I don't, I don't stop or just leave it. I take it easy. Look at, look back and keep going. Yeah, it's been awesome for me. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Meditation, breathing is important. Yeah. Uh, breathing awareness the, is everything, seriously. Definitely. Like, that's the one thing that is constant throughout our whole life, from the beginning till the ending. Absolutely. When did you know, like, when did you know, like, that you were an artist? Okay, my mother was always very creative and liked to sketch. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. her mother, my grandma... She really never paid attention to it uh -huh. and she just grew up and that's it became like an accountant or something and whatever oh, no when i was i think five six years old i drew a garfield the cat ah, yeah i always remember that garfield because that's the moment that she looked at me like hey did you do that by you know did you trace it and i said no i, I just i just drew it yeah, She's yeah, like, yeah oh hell yeah she just gave me that hell yeah like oh no i'm oh. putting you in school i'm not gonna let you go to waste and since I remember going to art school at, when I was seven. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't stopped since then. It's always been art. It's always been creative. It's always been, yeah, it's always been artsy, extremely artsy, the whole thing. But there's no artist in the family. I'm the first one, which is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. Like, uh, and it's, it's almost like the genes passed on. Yes. Uh, like the oh, spirit. Yeah. Came, and she came. totally saw it. Yeah, yeah. Well, she saw good. Like uh, your art is is impressive. Like even your illustrations. Uh, oh yeah, that's me trying to keep the ideas flowing. That's actually my wife asked me that yesterday. Kind of like, what do I draw different than what I paint? And is this was this is what keeps the mind fresh. The the illustrations keep the mind yeah, yeah. fresh, free, flowing. No 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 predetermine anything. Just just go at it. Okay okay. Yeah. Nice. If you could tell your younger self anything, uh, what would that be? 
to to have backpacked a little more. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to travel a little more because I I started a business when I was very young. Yeah. And I started it with a couple of cousins who they said they were gonna take the side the business side of it. Yeah. And I would just do the creative side and. They ended up doing nothing, so I had to fire them and take over the company and become, I have to become a businessman. I've learned a lot, and I appreciate the, the journey, but yeah, it would have been like travel first, and then, you know, and then do that's what I would have told myself, like travel, so then you can have a little bit more experience to, to bring to the table, because it, it was a crazy learning experience being a a bohemian artist and then from one day to another i had to become a a businessman or or be broke you yeah, know yeah yeah we did That's very great. well actually we won government grants we won nice. competitions and yeah sadly they 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 forced us to shut down yeah yeah sorry to hear uh okay. it, it must yeah i mean it it must be like a pain uh to have to let that go right or how like how did um how was that process for you well it, medellin is a is a is a pretty wild city like it's a yeah. beautiful place for tourists but for people who live there and want to do something let's say entrepreneur entrepreneurial yeah yeah it's it's hard because there's a lot of extortion and there's a lot of you know there's, there's there's that they call it vaccines <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. They, they call it vaccines they once you get vaccinated then they'll never let you they'll always keep you in the loop and they're always calling you to ask for money if you make more they want more yeah yeah but it was it was yeah it all came kind of together we had other problems inside the company with with capital and you know they just it was kind of like a sign like hey you, you gotta shut down man you're not gonna die for this you know yeah yeah i hear you it's uh it, yeah it, it could be uh it is it is like in, i suppose you evolve uh you're in canada now and uh, oh yeah you know, you, you and now that business side of it is being applied to my art which yeah 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 that's beautiful uh like and especially because a lot of artists aren't um business minded right like they they just yeah. create the art and this exactly. is intimidating and we have a sort of a love-hate relationship with money yeah 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 uh i get that a lot like i get uh i've been in arguments with artists over like understanding the reasons why we must do certain things but at the same time i understand where they're coming from uh you know like i understand you know like they're it's art you know and uh to to add money to it it's like it, it it devalues uh it's it's you know it devalues its worth and you know so i, I kind of understand where they're coming from but at the same time you know uh you gotta you know like you to to survive or to to have the freedom to do art you have to find a way to actually uh, make your art make money so it's like paint this, is very expensive yeah it, it, i can imagine and like how much do you spend on paint uh, uh typically Typically a hundred, a hundred and fifty. And I don't, I don't buy a lot to be honest. Cause every yeah. tube is like 35, 40 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 If you buy the good paint that will last a hundred, 150 years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Like, yeah, I, I want to like get into piece, painting. The piece behind me takes tubes of yeah. paint, a lot of tubes. Wow. That's a Look. really large painting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How big is it? I think it's 48 by 66 inches. Okay, okay. Which if I stand by it, yeah, it is pretty, it's pretty large. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't react. You know what it is on my side? It's, it shows the screen of the person speaking. <laughs> so so I, oh, I wasn't okay. able, like, sometimes I have to, like, not react so that it actually goes back to your screen oh okay yeah 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 uh okay and uh so what do you think about like when you're by yourself what is something that you think about or when you're meditating okay i like to know why 
that's kind of like I always get a why for whatever questions I I have and I get to the bottom of it. Yeah. And yeah, I've been lately I've been trying to declutter my head, you know. Yeah, yeah. And and yeah, when I'm when I'm by myself, which is not often because we live it's my wife and I and two dogs and a bachelor. Mm-hmm. So long a long time is not happening right now, but yeah, yeah. when it happens is usually just, you know, kind of like life. How are we going to do it? What do, what do I want? And yeah, how do I how do I contribute more? How do I become more like part of this community here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I like well now that we're living here, we want to we want to be a part of it in however an artist can be part of it, you know. Definitely. Yeah. Well, your art is it's it's a it's a, a, a uh, it's it's a rich con- contribution, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm pretty sure you are gonna do a lot uh, a lot in the community. Like just from what I see here, uh, if you um, had to pitch a, a collaborative project to the community at large, what would that project be? Okay, I've always been drawn to teaching abstract painting to elders nice yes i have my grandma is kind of like my mom like she lives in colombia and i call her every single day nice and she suffered a double stroke like it was kind of like two very close together yeah yeah and yeah man and and art helped her helped her kind of like bring back a bunch of functions emotions dealing with stuff yeah, man. So I, I've always been drawn to to do that, you know, to, you know, help help the elderly. I don't know, man, just express some feelings, you know, and it's always abstract painting. It's always so cool because there's no right or wrong. It's just whatever you feel. Yeah, yeah. That's, I, would, that's I would like to be included in something like that or pioneer it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's beautiful. Like uh, what you can do. Uh, I, I'm. Um, you know, like old folks' homes, you can approach old folks' homes. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I suppose in the call to artists or not even that, like, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, you can create like a uh, paint night for, you know, for elderly. Yeah, exactly. They can come to you and they can just like, you know, uh, pay what they can possibly. And then, you know, like, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, or not even to bring your own paint kind of thing or, or will you find support or, there's always something you can do. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, uh, and going, uh, elaborating on the concept, uh, if you had, uh, if you were the CEO of the arts community, uh, what are three things that uh, you would like to uh, change or that keep you up at night? Uh, okay, so first, I know as an artist that most of us have to pick between food or paint. Uh so that will keep me up at night because then you know if you think about it most most talented people who have a little bit of business side yeah they go into marketing and they go into design and 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 other stuff so the ones that really say they're going to be artists they're the tough ones you know what i mean And, and and i'm not saying it's not even about talent or no or not but that's a very select group of people who say, no, you know what? I know I can, but I'm not going to go that way for the money. I'm going to do it for the love of the art. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be one of the things, how, how, how to fund these people. Mm -hmm. Another one would be just how to make them sustainable, not just very talented to, yeah. Cause to be honest, well, I don't believe in talent myself. You know, I believe in practice and love for what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you, if I do it enough, I'm going to get really good at it if I really yeah. like it. So it would just be finding them ways of learning the business side of it and branding all these things so they can become successful and yeah. push others to do the same, you know, because I feel like if you, if we pay back those favors, it's going to, it's going to create a nice link and a nice chain of, of good relationships and events definitely and i guess the third one would be housing you know like it would be cool to housing and studio find places in the city that the government can help with for artists to live and work you know like yeah they they could be very expensive lofts 
but no these are these these are for the artists you know and they pay whatever they can and in it will be a selection process whatever but yeah yeah, like yeah. established places where they can be happy they can be free they can create because one one's an artist is that happy and that free the artwork is going to be beyond you know yeah that's definitely. how i feel struggle is evolution but not if you're always struggling yeah not if you're always fucking <laughs> hungry man yeah 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 no I, I completely get that like that's that's well put together uh and they all fit uh within each other and uh they, they all fit within each other it, it, it is uh, a, a huge part of my initiative like the ultimate dream would be to have like a trailer park that is just dedicated to Pretty artists cool. but one other one is uh you know like if we had houses like uh, if i have cash flow going in it's to buy multiple houses and all these houses are dedicated towards like different projects yeah, like uh, so a big like, building and you could even have a restaurant, a supermarket, so it can sustain every yeah, other, yeah. all the other things, expenses, you know, definitely, it could be done. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. That is something uh, that uh, we all should work on, uh, you know, and that's like, especially as a collective, uh, you know, so down the line, I hope that, uh, um, you know, we can continue speaking be uh, and uh, you yeah, can be part here. of the longer of that, like, of that of that of creating that that like housing creating housing for artists uh, mm. you know? uh yeah that would be beautiful uh why is art and creativity important for the community okay well it's kind of like asking why culture is important that's that's in our dna we we mm -hmm. anything we do is art we just don't even think about it everything we watch everything every layout that you can imagine everything has to do with creativity and art yeah definitely. so i think it's what separates us from the other species man we we, we just it's, ah, it's as important ah. as it keeps us it keeps us functioning you know yeah, like yeah. It, i feel like it's that important it's, it's not just something that we pick we're yeah, very yeah. creative all of us it's just that some of us neglect it and some of us, you know, trying to exploit it. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's just as important as breathing, to be honest. To, to me, art is just, yeah. Anything that you do that is different from the day before is creative, you know? It's, yeah. Ah, I never looked at it that way. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, you know, like uh, knowing that artists have to deal with isolation, homelessness, and uh, mental health issues. Uh, what is something that you would tell them uh, that can help them cope with it? Wow, that's a tough one, man. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess, again, it would be to, to ask yourself the tough questions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because in the end, the, the, the main person suffering that is you so you have to know what you want and how you're going to get there and and it's not like i'm not putting mental health on the side yeah for that i guess you got to seek additional help but if you don't have mental health issues you have to ask yourself the tough questions and do what you got to do even if it's tell yourself okay i just have i'm not an artist i just yeah, have yeah. an expensive hobby and i like to do it mm -hmm. or I want to be an artist, however it is, you know, yeah. and to be an artist, however that is, you have to think about it as we, we were lucky because we produce our own product. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, we, we, we create our own product and we give it the value that we, we establish and, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. You know, we don't have to find, we don't have to go to Shopify and find products to make and sell and we can create our own things. Yeah, definitely. So, to be yeah to to be honest it's tough man it's tough but i would say ask yourself the tough questions and and and, and follow your own instinct definitely yeah. that makes sense and i like what you said with uh, creating you can create your own things uh a, a business person once told me like you are one of the most dangerous people that i know yeah. and the reason for that is because you can instantly create your own revenue yep and uh you yep. know as an artist like we don't sometimes we don't realize that like what is stopping you know like to any artist listening to this right now 
there's nothing stopping you from doing nothing. anything at this point. Like nothing. The, and the more you do, the higher level you 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 attain. Yeah. And the better the better you feel, so you create even more and yeah, you yeah. demand more from yourself. So you start doing harder things. And yeah, man, and it's it, doing something that is hard is not just about the ego, once again. It's more about you telling yourself, okay, I can do hard things, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can push myself to do crazier things, to, mm -hmm. to, to show myself my previous version of me that I can fucking do anything I want. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, at the end, is, is, yes, we are part of this collective thing, but it's all about you. You're the one going through all this, so you have to pick up the pen and do it. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you so much for that advice uh, and you, that man. insight uh, from you. Uh, in closing, uh, is there anything that you would like to promote to the arts community? Uh, like where can people find you? Uh, do you have any shows coming up? Obviously you have the one in Medellin coming up, but, uh, like, yeah. Hey, I, I'm pretty sure it's postponed. Ah. Yeah. Cause it was, it was supposed to be in May. I had, I had one in, in April. Well, yeah, yeah. I had one actually that was going to start last week and it was postponed as well to further notice. Okay. And the one in May is also postponed. So right now, what, what I have is my website. I've been working hard on my website. Yeah. And um, yeah, just keeping, keeping it very updated, keeping my Instagram at JOS Cifuentes, mm -hmm. or my website is www.josecifuentes.com. I think okay, I, okay. I got a W there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Keep in touch. Uh, let's take it from there. Uh, and again, thank you so much for coming by the uh, podcast. Thank today. you, Michael. Thank you, everyone who's watching. Thanks, Jose. Take care, man. <laughs>